So we have Computer Repair Shop by Cheesecake Dev. Let's jump into this and see what this game's all about. So we have a hostel room. We have to pay every day to stay here. Uh, if we fall asleep on the street, our money can be stolen. But let's go start our first day of work. See you later. What is that for a voice? You sound like a demon. How much money have I even got? I've already paid the fee. Oh, well, I'm not going to pay you again then, am I? I've rented out this place. But why are you kicking me? I'm gonna die. What? Ask the muscular man for help to get rid of the raiders. Oh, Jesus. You, uh, yeah. <laughs> you take quite a few steroids, my friend. Pay me $50. I'll give you a baseball bat and I'll help you to beat them. Yeah, go for it, mate. You stay back. I've just pressed the syringe. I will take them all down. I've just pressed the syringe. I'll take them all down. Is he actually going to... Who the fuck are you? What? Oh, mate, you're a joke. Can I smack you? Oh, no, I've, I've put the... I've put the baseball bat on the floor. Give me my baseball bat. Are you joking? How many times am I going to die? Where is my shop now? I found it. Yeah, you lot get out of it. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, do some censoring because I realized at the last second there was uh, some immature things drawn on the wall, which YouTube probably won't allow in videos. <laughs> so I've had to clean them off the wall. You know, I probably found this place to rent on uh on wish because this place is disgusting open machine does this just blow away oh this is for uh dust inside computers fine there we go first computer put the case on your desk for repair Uh, some customers write down what the problem is and stick it as a side, uh, as a note on the side of the case. I bought this last week from a shop selling stolen goods, but it won't boot up. The guy selling it said all the parts worked. The thief says computer was turned on when he stole it. Can you please solve the problem? I've got $950, so let me just add the uh, cheap bad one to the basket. And then complete the order. It says preparing. Wait for the order to be is on the way. Wait, how fast do things turn up? How do people even know where my shop is? That's what's not clean. And for some reason, we have a cat. So turn on the computer and test. We put the power supply inside the computer. Press spacebar for the open the PC. Micro soft, awesome, speedy. Okay, nice. Uh, Background. Uh, place the case in the packing section. Complete the packing process from the screen. Place the case in the packing station. Complete the packing process. All customer requests completed. Uh, returning it. Complete it. Price calculation 200. Price difference added for new parts added to the case. Deliver it to the post office. Are you joking? Can I not get someone to come pick it up from me? What is this? $200. You completed the tutorial. You can freely play the game. You can find out how to detect errors and solutions on your tablet. You can press the tab key. Okay. Someone's bringing a new computer in. So Joe's computer, he cannot enter the Zorn Hub. Uh, I need to scan it for viruses. Okay. Clean the computer and crack the password. So this guy's got fat smoke, fort fort. First fantasy, minor runner. You know what? Someone's come in here and they've got some dodgy requests. So I'm just going to nick their uh, graphics card and their RAM, see if I can get away with it. I'm not allowed to take the GPU. Not allowed to take the RAM either. So what I did with the last customer was I bought them a new CPU because it wasn't working. I bought them a really cheap one. And I took their CPU out. I fixed it on my repair terminal. And now I've listed this up for sale. Oh, okay. 
The money I can pay you to, that's exactly what I wanted. Do I try? No, I'm going to accept it. That's what I put it up for. Yeah, take that and get out of my shop. 200. Oh, uh, here we go. So 78. Uh, so if I put 78 in there, fix it. That's going to do its thing. And now the repair is successfully completed. If we start the scan again, we'll get past 78. But are there any more dodgy sockets? Because I think what my plan is, we got past 78 that time. Yeah, there we go. So what my plan is, is we take people's parts out. If they've got expensive parts, we buy them cheap ones as a replacement. And then what we do is we sell their parts. So we're making a lot of money from it. So if we grab this and we put this back in the computer, we turn it on. Are there any more problems with your computer? Let's have a look. Oh, so there's another issue with it. And what's that white screen? Uh, let's have a look. So that will be it's your, um, yeah, your motherboard, your main board. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, I'll go home as well. I'll go back to the hostel place first. Wait a minute. I've just, as I've tried making my way back... I've just seen someone run out of my shop with a computer. It was you. Someone stole a computer uh, customer case. 417. Um, yeah, I need to save up a lot of money because we can eventually get employees, including the bouncer that stops our stuff being stolen. So I needed to buy a new motherboard. What one do you have? The X47 Deluxe. So let's have a look at the price. Because I believe I can just take it out and repair it. So main board. Was it this one? You've got all the cheapest parts in your computer. So I might as well see if I can take it out and fix it. I bought an upgrade, a skill that lets us fix things faster. So if we go socket 20. Yeah, look at how much quicker that is. And that's only level one. You can get multiple levels on it. Uh, do I have nine? Yeah, I've got just enough. Uh, employees, bouncer. If you hate thieves and need protection, I'm the man you need. So I've buyed a bouncer. Not bought a bouncer, I've buyed a bouncer. So you're going to keep everything safe. And where are you? Oh, you're there. But you carry in a gun. So can I, uh, can I safely sleep? Let me take my bat just in case you're as useless as a steroid bloke. I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to go to bed. See you in the morning, mate. Hold up. That was a thief. <laughs> my, my bouncer just fucking shot him. Didn't even give him a chance. Oh, if I see another one, I want to see him walk around the corner and see if my bouncer just deletes them. It's not working. Apart from that, I've got additional. I want it cleaned. Can you overclock it? I want this app. Uh, my part. Okay. Uh... Who's being shot? They just dropped another thief. My bouncer's just shooting everyone. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. The price you set is eight sixty. I got this much. Uh, yeah, take it. <laughs> That's a huge profit. I've got a grand. So could I actually increase my bad sectors three hundred? How much would it cost me to get someone that? The computer part repair master, 1500 I need. Oh, that's got to come in the future. Let me save up. Let me just actually spend the time. So it's 86 for this one. Yeah, let me just save up the money. Instead of uh, wasting money on skills at the moment, let me save up for more employees. Computer's not working. Apart from that, I've got additional requests. I want it cleaned. Done. Overclock. Done. I want this app. Done. OS is not original. Can you fix it? Done. Okay, so if we bring it over here and we go uh, all customer requests completed. 233. Are you taking the piss? That's the biggest job I've done yet. Okay, so I've just done a job and I was supposed to get like $70, but I think I got like 820 or something like that. I've been playing this game for far too long already. Like, it's just everything about it is incredibly addictive.
Uh, but we have enough money, so I'm going to buy Repair Joe. Let's see how you do with that. And then I've got the money, I might as well buy the seller. So if I grab this next computer, place it here, it doesn't turn on. So let's diagnose it. That's power supply. So can I just take the power supply and give it to Joe? Oh, what? He's fucking rapid. He fixed it. You're joking. That saves so much time. Like, so, so much time. He fixed the power supply. Like, he is stupidly fast. Wow. Uh, but this is the uh, thousand graphics cards. The 20 gig. This person's coming to buy it. We're going to get all that money. Oh, yeah. 8.17. Oh, you got me an extra... Actually, you lost me money. Was it not set to 8.60? Oh, the seller's a load of shit then. It says here, open the app via USB, which I've done. To burn a game to a floppy disk, you need a blank one, which I've got. If you put a blank, uh, you can perform the burning operation. How do I crack the games? So what I need to do is type in the cmd crack file then the file id and that should work but i need to sleep so i'll pay you 50 open up mate bouncer's gonna do his thing repair joe sat there sellers sat there we've got skyrim's there so if i go cmd crack file uh 34 17 15 71 ID found it. Uh, I don't know if I've done this right. Oh, I did. There's two different types of circles. Crack process done. So, I can burn that to disc. Oh, no. I'm, I'm illegally pirating games. But here we go. We're right at the end of the process. Disc get not found. What do you mean? Wait, it says game disc. So, can I just can I do it again? Empty disk. I want to burn two copies. While I've got this computer, I might as well. But that should be two copies of Skyrim, right? Yeah, look at that. As if. I'll just pop these on the floor for a minute. Oh, this is so highly illegal. I can get $80 per copy of uh, Skyrim. So I'm actually selling illegal pirated copies of Skyram. Skyram, Skyrim. Let's see how much I get for that. I've had to do a lot of work to it. Yeah, 12.29. Thank you very much. I appreciate that because I was also able to pirate a couple of copies of Skyrim. Oh, 15.29. So I've managed to start my own shop. I currently have four computers that I need to work on. I've been playing this game for almost two hours. I plan to play for like 45 minutes to an hour. I just got so into it because it's like realistically, it's a dodgy game. I say that in terms of this game's not going to cost you 70 quid to play. It's actually about £7.50 on Steam. So it's not expensive at all. And for what you're paying, you do actually get good quality entertainment. It's a fun game. You start off with nothing. You open up your shop. You can see my bouncer in the background just killing all the thieves. You have staff members that can help you out. You have different things you need to run with computers, repairing parts, replacing parts. And then you even have it where you can pirate games to make some extra cash. So there's a lot to this game. There's also some robot war sort of thing going on. I, I don't know. There's a couple of different features. I think there's an, like an entire new business that you can run alongside this. I just haven't made it that far in. I've been focusing on fixing up and replacing like computer parts and everything and trying to keep the customers happy. But that was a look at Computer Repair Shop. We are going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this wacky game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.